What's up, guys? This is Larry Detective, and um, today we are gonna do the actual review of the um, Protector of Fire. So, um, wait, let me roll back my sleeve so that they don't get in the way. So, um, comparing this guy. Oh, what the? Here's a storm, a, a little stormtrooper guy. Not stormtrooper. Uh, a uh, shock trooper, a Lego one, minifigure. So one, two, three. About three and a half shock troopers high. I don't. I I didn't measure it correctly, but about three, maybe four minifigures high. I don't know. But um. So let's first take a look at the skull spider. Um, this is actually a really really nice green color. Let's see. There we go. You can kind of see its actual color. It's a uh, really, really bright when you see it in the camera because the camera kind of projects a little bit of light too. So it's it's way brighter in the camera. I'm looking at the cameras. It looks almost white. But if you if you get the actual set, the green is a really, really cool color. There you can kind of see it. Oh no, you actually can't. It's still very, very bright. But um, it's actually a very, very cool green. It's like a, a light, a light kind of. It's like a, a very, very light green. But it's not just light green. It's like a light pale green. It's like so hard to explain what kind of color it is. I can't think of any food or, or something that has that color. But uh, if you get the set or see a picture online, then you'll know what I mean. It's a really, really cool type of green, and uh, it can clip on these little parts. You can click clip them onto the mask that's how they have make the new masks so it can clip on but getting to this guy he has kind of these kind of kind of three toe kind of pieces for the feet you can move them and all that it's like hero factory we have this armor here we have the head and if you push this the mask flies off it's due to this, see? So, let's take a look at the mask. It's a kind of clear and it's also, it's like a solid, but then it kind of goes to a clear color. So that's really, really cool. And that just clips onto there. And then you can lock it off. Um, another cool thing that you could do is you could take the skull spider and it's as if the skull spider, you can put it on and it's as if the skull spider is consuming him turning me evil so but then you can also launch that up save the day and save this protector so we have these little blades which are attached to the bottom of his hands and the only really play feature about this guy that's like not like um is this you turn it Did you see that? Shoot, man, I don't think that you saw that. But, um, let me go and get those little whistles. Um, uh, you get lots of extras, so it's not such a big of a deal that I... Ugh, I lost a lot of these. Let me fix it. Oh, I lost one of them. Whatever. Ugh. But, um, actually, I'm going to take a few of them off. So, if you look here. When you turn this, um, this thing moves. Turn this gear. And you can see, when it hits this stud, it pops the stud off. So, actually, what I'm going to do. Did you see that? So... That is a little bit of what that thing can do in um, action, but um, I personally don't like it because I don't like when all the when different pieces kind of like explode, if you know what I mean, because uh, I'm off looking for the last one of those pieces, those darts that I fired, but um, I, I would rather use this for display, at least for my purpose. Um, I want to use them for display. Um, but 
it's still quite cool and it looks cool on the figure but um for for because of the purpose that i don't really like to play with stuff like that how i really hate those kind of missiles um, i just like to take it off but it just clips on right there Here's a look on the back of him so yeah that's um a review of the uh, protector of fire i um hope you like it bye